Hi, and welcome to another episode of The War Bunker. My name is High Marshal Durnford. For almost half a millennia, my world of New Albion has been isolated from the universe as a vast storm in space raged about us. In a galaxy at constant war, we were hidden from the worst, but now that is ended. Suddenly we find ourselves in a universe filled with terrors and supermen. But we are the Astro Militarum, and we stand ready. Hi, and welcome back. Um, today is part one of our new campaign, The Tears of New Albion. Part one called The Arrival. As you heard briefly in the introduction, um, New Albion is a, is a human settlement. Um, and basically looked after by the Imperial Guard. Astro Militarum. Astro Militarum. What's, what's the name? The 4th Army, is it? The 24th. The 24th Regiment. Army Regiment. Um, basically because the aliens have been, a, been away, they've been at relative peace for about 500 years. Um, and just as this warp storm subsided, they're starting to get visitors from a, a universe that they were starting to believe had like forgotten all about them. Um, the High, High Marshal Durnford, who's the, the main character of this army, is basically a about 60-year-old general who's um, he's basically coming towards the end of his career, looking for a little bit of glory. So far, all he's done is he's, he's had some... They've had things like insurgents and the Ogren Wars, um, but no real glory, really, and which is pretty much what... What an Imperial Guards general that would is really after. Yeah. The background for this is basically a scouting unit of Imperial Guard have been sent to investigate some strange readings that they've they've had. Um, they're under strict orders not to engage. So this could be a slightly weird game. Um, they've arrived and they've they found this. But what's going on? Let's get the uh, game started. Game started. Let's get let's get uh, round one done. So obviously not the most exciting first round because no one was allowed to fire. But round two's here. Things have manoeuvred, and it's time for me to bring in my deep strike unit, which I'm going to try and do there. And I've got the dice here, and it's there by 10. Right in the middle of that. Well, let's bring it down. Aha, a drop pod, says people. And to be honest, this, is, this, is, this has to be like, yeah, that's better. That's more, more in keeping. And out this drop pod tumble. Uh oh, this isn't looking quite right. Remember, this is a narrative campaign, so we've got something. A host of killer counts. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that shouldn't be happening. And meanwhile, that thing leaves the battle. What's going on? Hopefully more will come out. Well, after that shock, uh, another um, orc truck has come on board, as well as this. You managed to get a couple of shots off that and taken it, take it down by uh, one of the killer cans down by a hell point. And you've managed to get some shots off, and I managed to get some shots off on that. I managed to get that down by one whole point. You're not really basically basically revert once he found out what he was dealing with. It's time to reverse yeah. to get the hell out of there. Because <laughs> orcs. 
Well, how, how do you feel to be facing the Orcs? Because it was it was kept a bit secret, wasn't it? Do you think? Do you think? Do you think we both? We both wrote our armies in, in secret, but obviously I, I kept secret what actually things were going to be. And, and in actual fact, this is all to do with part of, of White's uh, narrative campaign, because there's, there's a reason why it talks. There's yeah. also a reason why there's, they're in Space Marine vehicles right about now. Curious? Cars, yeah. Hmm. Well, we'll have to find out by playing the game. Okay. Well, we had a special rule that for one turn only, he could bring in a, a Valkyrie as kind of like a, a quick air support. That's needed somewhere else. So it's just flying over the scene. So you're going to fly it over. But it managed to do some damage, didn't it? Most importantly, it took out off the big mech that was protecting that group. Um, we've been laughing a little bit about this. I don't know if, if I've been laughing or crying, really. Um, because my choice of vehicles, I realised, aren't very good for taking out any of his armour. Yeah. Um, if I can get them round the back, I can do something. But Or if I can get my men up towards him, I can do something. <laughs> right at the minute. Uh, I needed a bit more um, he, rocket, he stuff. rocket stuff. <laughs> I'm new to playing orcs. I'm learning the hard way. <laughs> I was kind of hoping, hoping to get get my units close enough to deliver a killing strike, actually, and knock them all out quite early on. And Cameron's actually uh, is basically using his space as best you can, aren't you? To so most of his men have been in in a fighting retreats. To make sure that the, the the orcs don't actually catch up, which is actually working quite well for you so far, I think. You think? I think. Well, so far you've not. You so far have only caused one wound so far. So yeah. Round three. Yep. In. Interesting things have happened. Uh, one of Chimeras has been taken down by the Mega Knobs, um, but Cameron has put together quite effectively a little box of fire. Um, has only taken down one though. They're really tricky Mega Knobs to take down, aren't they? Yeah. Because they've got two wounds. Um, looked like he wasn't actually going to take any scouts whatsoever. Um, Suddenly the game twists with one of the Chimeras taken out. Um, I think think they are probably the biggest threat going, aren't they, at the minute? Yeah. Um, my burner boys were tank shocked. And as a Space Marine player, I was somewhat shocked to find them run away. And I've, I'm trying desperately to pull them back at the minute. Um, see, you can just about see them on there. And bloody useless things. Oh yeah, one of one of my uh, fast attacks there has, has lost lost the thing. Uh, so that's the end of turn. Was that three or four? Four. Four. We think four. Um, more to come. Well, I was kind of sure that Mega Knobs were going to become my new favourite unit, apart from this guy. Now, he's actually the last survivor. After being shot to death quite a few times. Mm -hmm. uh, insane amount of things that they got shot at. And he's run away. And now, unless I get a, some kind of insane double one, yeah, he ain't coming back. Which is kind of annoying. Um, elsewhere, I've lost a couple of, of my fast attack. Um, kind of like the last stand over here of, of the Imperial Guard. They've just kind of, just basically... Uh, because because my other infantry units kind of like way over there and I haven't managed to get the rest of my boys in that truck anywhere near because it's just kind of carnage over there. They just kind of like fired like hell at the mega knobs, which were likely, which I took, I used to basically take down the Chimera and um, hoping to, um, because the Chimera obviously had, had, 
kind of just kind of like stop, kind of cause a lot of havoc to, to the rest of my things. Um, right, so end of turn five, I guess we roll now to see if it's ended. And roll a six, that's the end of the game. And I think it's fair to say that you've probably won this. It was an annihilation thing, and I think you've managed to wipe out slightly more than me. Mm. Okay, so just we'll just take a quick pause. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, so end of this uh, this game. Obviously, as we said, there were some questions. Um, first of all, because uh, because you've won, you've managed to get an, an, uh, a warning basically out to the rest of your forces on the planet to say that there are there are orcs. <laughs> there are orcs on the planet. More importantly, because you've won, you've managed to. Um, to get some people actually down here and to investigate what the hell's going on. Uh, from everything you know, um, these, because remember they've been away from the, um, out of contact with Imperium. the Imperium for 500 years, and these look like standard, um, standard space marine things. And, and in actual fact, what's happened is, um, because you've managed to, to, to pretty much secure the site, they've sent in some some investigators to look at things. These originally thought these might be looted wagons, a uh, looted drop pod. Much to their surprise, they've opened up it up and actually found out that inside here is a servitor, basically dri driving it, a Space Marine servitor. And likewise, this was pre-programmed. There's been no orc interference with the vehicles whatsoever. Something is not adding up. It'll be later missions where we find out why. But for now, that's the end of the game and uh, looking forward to part two coming up next. Um, any thoughts? Apart from Mega Nobs, you never want to face Mega Nobs. I should pat, I'm gonna, <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we've, yeah, we've pre-done our, we've pre-done our lists, yeah, and I think you might want to revisit your tactics against Mega Nobs. Um, I, yeah, I am bringing some next time. Cameron did say actually that, that typically it's orcs that have an armor of six and it's very difficult to deal with them when they've got um, a higher armor. Yep. Um, likewise, I need to start bringing some anti, anti armor stuff because, um, yeah, because I'm against the guard. Of course, there's going to be some armor um, in my way. And I might have to rethink my lists a little bit based on that kind of abysmal performance. I mean, that's this isn't exactly two tanks. Uh, two chimeras I really struggled against, yeah? And most, you know, most of my armor, most of my shots were, couldn't even take down an armored sentinel, which was kind of a bit worrying. Um, any thoughts for yourself? I hate Mega Knobs. Well, there are going to be more in the next game. I'm pre-warning you. Mm. Yeah. Sad face. Sad face. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let's have a look at the next game. Catch you later.